Hey guys, this week we're heading to the 2024 Miami International Boat Show. We're taking you with us in search of the best boat that's available for under 60K. We're comparing the boats head to head to find our winner. So let's get into it and see who comes out on top. All right, we're at the 2024 Miami uh, International Boat Show and we're on the hunt for boats that are under 60,000 that are affordable. We're gonna find out which are the best ones, see what they have to offer at the boat show. And we're gonna show you which ones we like the best. Every year we come here, the boats keep getting bigger and bigger and more expensive. So we always try to find something that's a little bit more reasonable, you know, to see what's out there. And um, that way our viewers have a better, uh, have a more realistic uh, idea of what's here, right? Not just the, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar center console. Let's go looking. As far as the boats that are under 50,000, we're gonna try to stick to Cuddy Cabin style boats, family boats, not flats boats and things like that. Because those are like their own different category, but more family boats, so center consoles, cuddy cabins. So we tried with Skeeter, there's no prices on the boats, so next. Let's check out these. Prices. Let's check out this Carolina Skiffs. These are usually on the lower end as far as like price wise, even though these are pretty sought after. But uh, like the fit and finish is not something like a regular uh, boat would be. It's like kind of like unfinished, um, usually helping with the price. So you have, look. This is a 24 foot, 24 foot Carolina skiff for 45,000. I mean, if you're looking to get out on the water, and this is a good sized boat, so you know you can you can fit your whole family on here. It doesn't come with much. Regular leaning posts, small center console, even the fuel tank is above deck, but it's got tons of space. This is great for diving, for cruising. You can do all types of stuff. I mean, if you want to go camping, you could put a pitch of tent up here. You got plenty of space. Look how much space you got in this thing. So this is the first boat we found that's under 60 grand. So 45,000 for this Carolina Skiff. And then they have, look, they have a 21. And the 21, this one's going for 39,000. I mean, really for for you know, 5,000 more, you're better off going with the 24, you get a lot more boat. Let's check out the motors on these one. You got a 150 on the 24, and you got a 140 Suzuki on this, and you can't go wrong with the Suzuki. I mean, these are, these are workhorses. And then once you get into the higher end, so these are the finished, um, the finished boats, they come with the center console, the leaning posts, with the bay well and all, and the cushions. Now you're getting into 83,000, so let's go on to some of the other. Now, if you want something a little bit more finished, you have this 21, which I'm assuming, it's a 21 LS, which is a little bit, uh, it's probably the same hull as this 21, but this one has a finished cap. So you can see that the, uh, it actually has a, a two-piece construction up top, and it's got the nice seats, it's got cushions. I mean, it's got a live well, it's got a nice leaning post, it's got a center console. I'm assuming it's got the gas tank underneath, which is great. Check out this cool chair with this umbrella. I mean, that's oh, really cool. That's really cute. Yeah, super cool. So you could just fish from up here, or just cruise. I mean, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, it's got the fuel tank underneath, it's got some storage, and you got, look, you even got connections for trolling more. I think this is a fantastic deal for. What was the price on this thing? I think you said 41. 40, 41,000 boat show price. So that's, I think that's a better deal than, than the other one over there. Listen, it's worth it for the cute little chair up front. I think it's definitely worth it. <laughs> but you know, you're, you're talking about a 21 foot boat. So then you go over here to this one. We're already in the 93,000, that's for a 26. So let's keep going. Let's check out this. So we have, we said our budget was, or we said that we were looking at boats under 60 grand, right? But this one's 63, but it's a 25, okay? It comes with a, a 200 Suzuki. Look at the swim platform, the same as the 21, but I mean, it's got all the amenities and it's so much bigger. Check this out. And you get a T-top, hard top. Hard nice, top nice with the lights, hard really nice hard top for 63 grand, and this is a 25 foot boat. I mean, this is this is a pretty good deal, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
It's got the cushions and stuff. I mean, this is a great, great deal. Check out the console. The console opens up this way. That's awesome, man. I mean, look at tons of space, too. And if you wanted to, like, you want to take this thing camping, like how we like to do, you can literally, like, pinch a tent right here and even another one up here and, like, go overnight camping. This is yeah, really cool. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, Carolina Skips, man, they're known to be pretty rugged. I like these boats. They're cool. They're not the best riding boats, but, you know, it's compromised. So 60 degree gang, we'll keep that in, uh, on the list. I like this one the best so far. I think this is one of the yeah. best. Between this one and then the 21 LS is, is pretty good. Yeah. So now we talked about the Carolina Skiff, and this is, I guess, this is your sister company, Sea Chaser. So they, it's the same company, but they make different style boats. So you have the flat bottom Carolina Skiff style boats, and then you have the V bottom. So these are more like a, a little bit of a better ride, more V, traditional V style bottoms. And this is a 20 footer. Okay, and this one's fully finished, so it's got uh, two-piece construction, and this one's going for fifty-eight thousand, which is awesome. So something under the budget of sixty thousand that we that we place, but look, you get a nice a nicer riding hall with a nice deeper V. You get the cushions. It's a little smaller than the uh, twenty-five, obviously, because it's twenty-foot boat. But I mean, this will get you out there on a calm day. You could go out fishing, you know. Got a nice little light bulb here. It's got the cup holders. It's got a nice little bimini top of Suzuki. What is that? 150. It's got a 150 Suzuki on it. Got the leaning post with the center console. And it's a nice little boat for 58 grand. I like it. I don't see a price on it anywhere. So we're looking at Sportsman now. Let's see what they have. So this little 23 footer is 131,000. So that's a little bit above what we're looking for. But um, let's see if they have anything else. And this 26 Bay boat, 200,000. I think these boats are a little bit. These boats are all going to be over. They're really nice, but they're going to be over our what we're looking for today. Come on. Tacobia boats. I know they make smaller boats. They have the big ones too, but I don't think they got anything that's gonna be in our in our range today. I think this is the smallest one, which is 24. It's small, but it's got two motors. Yeah, so it's got two motors, so already, yeah. <laughs> it's already out of the price yeah. range. It's already out of the price. How you doing? Yeah. yeah, this one's going for 150,000. That is nice though, really nice boat. Very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Look at that chair. That Super so nice, comfy. man. Really nice. That's out of our budget, so let's keep going. So we're not going to include in our list of, of boats under 60 grand the dinghies because they're, they're, they're dinghies. Even though they're rib boats and stuff, we're, we're just not, we're trying to stick to more of a, like family boats and stuff like that. So dinghies and stuff, we'll skip. You can put a family on there, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could put a family on there, but uh, you ain't doing no fishing with four people on there. Look at this thing. You could all fish together. Everybody could hold the same rod. Right? <laughs> this is the smallest uh, of the Sea Fox boats. And I think this thing is super expensive. What is this? 22 or something? Let's see. Oh, it's 25. This is the sick, uh, 19 foot Yamaha and it starts at 48,000. This one's a bow rider. So it's got uh, it's got the section up here for you to sit. It's got the split windshield. This isn't your regular boat. This isn't uh, like your regular center console. It's more like a family boat. You're not gonna do much fishing off of this, but it's pretty cool. It's got like a Bluetooth uh, speaker system here. It's got a nice sea deck flooring. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming this has two two engines. And they're like jet ski engines or wave runner engines. <coughs> Turn 
nice cushion up here. It's cool. Not my style of boat, but it's under the uh, 60 grand, and you get this one's 50 grand, 48,000. A nice little, little top. That's cool. Not my style, but you get this is what you get for 50 grand. Let's see what else I got. Yeah, so this is a single motor, single motor Yamaha. Pretty cool. So 48,000. Excuse me. Yeah, and now this is a 22 foot. This is already 78,000. So let's go check out the ones over here. Cool. This one's the 19. I guess it's the other model. So it's more like a fishing model. Jet drive with a single motor. So same boat, just different layout. This one's more for fishing. So like uh, more of your South Florida boat, I guess. It's got the leaning post, center console, T-top, soft top. It's got a fishing rod stuff. Yeah, let's check that out. Let's go. It's got a whole deck up there. <clears throat> check this leaning post out. <laughs> Pretty weird. It's cool. Got a whole deck up here. Got some seats over there. I think this is the same... Uh, this is Pilot House is boat, same model, the one over there, right? Oh, really? Like that first jet drive boat. Ah, okay. Yeah. Got sea deck all over, that marine mat, soft. Okay. So for under, under 50 grand, you get a nice little fishing boat. Oh, this whole, this whole thing comes up. Yeah, it's a nice little boat. Like boarding all these little options here. This is different, not my style, but this is more of a fishing boat, which is cool. So Yamaha has this, the 19, and this is a 19 as well, same, same boat. You got these other guys, but these are, you know, 70, 80 grand. It's pretty. I think it's, uh, I think the Yamaha boats were a good, a good option for for somebody maybe getting into, you know, the first center console boat, under 50 grand, well, I really think that's a good deal. We've also noticed that the boat prices have dropped significantly this year versus uh, versus last year or during COVID. The prices have dropped like 20, 30 percent from what I what I've noticed. Yeah. I think the same boat was maybe seventy thousand dollars. Now you're looking at under 50 grand, which is pretty good. So I think if you're looking to buy a new boat, which I would never buy a new boat, but if you are, this is the time maybe to do it. Yeah. All right, on to the next. Yeah, so these are Stingray boats. They're 65, so they're a little bit over what we're looking for. Well, it's affordable, but. So about, they will for 80 grand, but boat show price 65. So let's keep looking. Good old hurricane. Wow, hurricanes are expensive, man. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, this one. Good old Hurricane Sunday. 18 foot, 36,000. The boat show price, 46. Boat show price, 36, so almost 10 grand off. Okay, let's take a look. Yamaha Wolf 15. You can get a phone holder on the dash for only huh? $480. A what? A phone holder on the oh. dash for only $480. Jesus. Okay, so a ladder back here. So a ladder back here, Yamaha Wolf 15. Big open space. That's what these things are known for. These are a cool, just sandbar, cruising boat. Not going nowhere fast than these. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, pretty plain. Cup holders, radio. These like your dad's boat. Yeah. Same thing. Is it so people that top. love hurricanes love hurricanes? Yeah. I I personally don't see the uh, comfy. It's for cruising. Yeah, it's for cruising, you know. and you know, this one's set up for like tubing and stuff. But you know, so get you out on the water, not the best ride, but. But it's family friendly. It's affordable. Yeah, family friendly. If that's your thing, just going to the sandbar cruising. 
This might be uh, the boat for you, but you're gonna go fishing? Probably not, not the best for that, but. So that's what you get for 39,000. All right, so something comparable to, what was the boat that we saw? Maybe the Yamaha, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, or the Hurricane. This was 54,000 boat show price, and you have a 19 foot with a Yamaha 115. Uh, a little ladder, nice little deck back here. Bimini top, nice little layout area over here too. All these bolster seats and things. It's nice too. The seats look really yeah. comfy. Huh? Yeah, the it looks really look comfy, don't they? <laughs> yeah, these look really comfortable. I don't know what this material this is, but it's like it's nice. Huh. This one's really nice. The fit and finish on, on this one is I think better than the other ones that we've seen. I think so, yeah. Yeah, the fit and finish on this is a little nice, nicer than the other ones. Uh, cup holders here. Definitely nicer than the Hurricane. Yeah, everything looks good. Storage. Storage. Four seats and storage up here. Okay. Yeah, you can sit up here, lay out. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we have the Bayliner 20 foot deck boat for 45,000. 45. Let's check it out. Let's see. All right, so immediately look at the size of this thing. It's huge. It's huge. A lot of space. There's a little head over here. I mean, look at all this. I'll tell you what, though, like, this floor feels like a little cheapy. It's like soft. Not because it's rotted, just because it's not enough material. Mm. A lot of space up here. Fin and finish, not too great. A little sink. A little head in there. <laughs> it's almost kind of weird that there's just like a sink right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a head under there, you saw it? Oh, Yeah. okay, so I guess that's why they put a sink in. Yeah, you just go to the bathroom outside, you know, <laughs> where everybody can see you. <laughs> um, uh, strange, but all right. <laughs> yeah, not too impressed, especially for that much money. Tidewater has this uh, 19 for 43, but it's not at the show. This, this looks like it would have been a good deal. You know, and then they also have this 20 footer, but they don't have it here. They don't bring any of the small ones. Yeah, they don't bring the small ones. So there's that. Let's keep going. How you doing? How you doing? Nice. Good to show. Yeah. So, and this is like a, you know, like a deck boat. Looks like, looks a lot like the Bayliner. Not too impressive. Not your style. Top, not my style, but hey, you know, this is what you get for 50 grand. And to be honest, gets you on the water, not much. Right? Gets you in the water, but <laughs> gets you in the water pretty expensive on what you get. <laughs> All right, so now we're getting into, I know we didn't say flats boat, but this, you know, we're getting into like the smaller little skiffs that'll get you out of the water for cheap. So let's check these out. <clears throat> Check out this little skiff, 15 foot for 23 grand. This is gonna get you out into the flats. This is gonna get you, <clears throat> no, we're good, thank you. It's gonna get you out on the flats, a flat day. Get you and a, and a buddy on there, comfortable. Do some fishing, but. Oh, 
right. nothing you want too, to scoot too around crazy. And fish yeah, and scoot around and fish, you know, a little 23 grand. And then you have the 17 footer, yep. which is a little bit bigger. These are flat bottoms, so they're not going to ride the best. 20, 27 grand for that. I think that's a little, a little much. Even their 21 Mako, 87. So that's already out of uh, what we're looking for. A 19 foot. This is a 19 Pro Skiff. And this one's 55,000. I mean, that's pretty, that's steep for a 19 foot flat bottom boat. I mean, but hey, how much was the uh, Carolina skip? You got a 25 for, for 60,000. I think so, right? Yeah, so you get like a whole six more feet yeah. and more amenities. With a T-top, it had the hard top for more, you know. And for, this is a flat bottom as well? Yeah, or? this is the same style, okay, so. you know, flat bottom boat. I mean. That's a no-brainer, a bigger motor and everything. So yeah. I mean, these are a little bit overpriced, my opinion. Um, we saw the 18-foot make. Oh, that's a flat spot. We're not going to really check out the flat spots. But um, all right, let's keep going. All right, so we narrowed down what we think is the best boat on a budget that's under 60 grand. Carolina Skin 21 LS. Close second was the 25, but the 21 LS at a price of $41,900. It's got two-piece construction, which is really nice. So it's got the finish inside compared to the, the cheaper model, which is also in the running of one of the, the top three. <clears throat> the 21 is $41,000. Uh, it's got the finish inside. It comes with the Suzuki 150. All right, so look at all the stuff you get. You get these two chairs, both sides, for the starboard. You got a gigantic light back here, the Suzuki 150. Uh, you got your Renault deck fuel tank with access, access to your wheelchair too. You got a nice 80 post with cooler in the beam. You don't get a top. You don't get a top. It, always, it has an option for a bimini top on the sides. Got the nice holster here. Radio. Regular analog, uh, regular mechanical DJ. I mean, look at the space. There's so much space up there. There's a lot of space. Tons of space. Like, check this thing out over here. Let's stop. Uh... Mm -hmm. Looks like it goes up. The hinges are on the top. Look at all the space. It's even got a little head. Look at that. Wow. That's nice. That's awesome. It has the really cute chair with the little umbrella. <laughs> hey, it's got this casting bag up here that's gigantic. Yeah. And these, these are, these are brackets. They're cool because they're not, I'm just holding them. Oh. Yeah, so these are really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that great story? Oh. Here, anchor locker. I guess there's boxes if you want, or just storage. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. Access over there. Some more storage, I think. Anchor locker there. Pretty cool. I think the best. best I want to show the seats back there. It's going to be this this model. Right. Push the flat to this thing, and accommodate to get out into the reef. And for 40 grand, I don't think you're going to find anything close. With this way to finish on this big, I fish off super comfortable. It's got a wash down, it's got everything. This really is a great boat. It is. It's got the uh, Bimini top attachment. I know. Right? Hydraulic steering. Good deal. Nice. Good deal. Uh, that's right. So it's also uh, acoustic composite. So there's no rot. There's no wood in here, which is great. It's gonna last forever. As long as you don't bang it up. So the reason why we didn't go with this one, even though it's cheaper, it's only like two thousand dollars cheaper. But you get so much more with the finished cap on the other one. You get a bigger motor. This is a 140. That one's a 150. And you get a below deck 
fuel tank, you get all the little amenities, you get the seats and all that stuff, all the cushions. So for two grand more, you get so much more. So that's why the best bang for your buck is definitely the uh, 21 LS Carolina Escape. It's a nice, you know, it might be flat bottom, but it's, you know, modified bottom of the, mm -hmm. the front here. And it'll eat up some ways, but I think that's definitely the best bang for your buck. We didn't see too many boats that were really under $60,000 at the show. And we, we expected that most boats are, you know, 30 foot plus and $300,000. But um, we looked everywhere inside the convention center and that's what we found, so it's not much. Let us know what you think. If you thought maybe one of the other ones were a better deal, um, this is what we thought was the best deal. Now let us know in the comments what you thought. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.